very first comments from Buckeye coach Jim Tressel. We'll also hear from Purdue coach Joe Tiller. Purdue first and ten at their own eight-yard line. Brandon Jones in the backfield for quarterback Brandon Kirsch. Who's got wide outs right and left. Give to Jones. Coming to the five up the middle. Hit and dropped right at about well, first at the seven, but he receivers right and left. Brandon Kirsch barks out the call. Dishes to Brandon Jones. In trouble. Tripped up and stopped for a loss. And it looked like it was Kenny Peterson yeah. who got back there to trip him up. Now the Buckeyes going to take a timeout, stop the clock. With 4.02 to play in the game, 6-3 Purdue leading. Purdue in a position where if they're able to pull off this big upset today, at least as far as what you're concerned with them, it gets them back to the 500 mark in their record. First time they've beaten a ranked opponent since they beat the Buckeyes two years ago. Third and ten Boilermakers in their own eight. Brandon Kirsch, empty backfield. He works out of a shotgun. Three wide to the right, two wide to the left. Kirsch back at his own goal line. Rolling, he's in trouble, throws up field. It's caught by Stanford at the nine. He's taken down at the 11-yard line. John Stanford stopped. Matt Wilhelm over there with Will Allen and Mike Doss to cover him. So Purdue will have to punt it away, and Ohio State looking at what could be their last possession of the game to try and get out of a 6-3 hole. Well... We're going to have good field position. Yep. He's going to have the window his back punting this football. Let's see if Chris Gamble could be a be an all-star. Buckeyes have blocked one. Brent Slate in his end zone. A junior averaging 39.2 per punt. Chris Gamble at the Ohio State 44 waiting the ball. Everybody's set on the line. Snap knee high. Slate gets the punt off under pressure, and he nails it. Gamble will back up, catch it at his 34, move up the left side, 45-50. Gamble wide to the left, go down at Purdue's 46-yard line. Craig Prenzel in a shotgun. Two wide to the right, Gamble in the hard sock. One to the left, Prenzel to throw, pressure coming. Prenzel in trouble, and he's going to go down at the 50-yard line as Purdue's defense keeps up their relentless pressure of Craig Prenzel and making the stop behind the line is tackle Brandon Villarreal. Well, Buckeye offensive line been struggling all day long. It's continuing. We need to find a way to get it, get it started right here, though. And Ohio State getting set right at the line. 2.43 and counting. Fourth quarter. Second and 14, Ohio State from the 50. Gamble wide right. Jenkins wide left. Backs are in an offset eye behind Craig Prenzel. Purdue looks like they might be blitzing once more, and why not the way it's worked for them? Prenzel to pass. Pressure coming. Left side throws it incomplete for tight end Ben Hartsock at Purdue's 46-yard line as Prenzel threw it too wide of him. Yeah, and behind Hartsock was Michael Jenkins all by himself. If he had a little bit of time, he could have went to that second second level and hit Michael Jenkins. Well, this possession shrunk quickly. It is third and 14 for Ohio State at the 50. With 2.26 to play in the game and Purdue leading 6-3. Michael Jenkins goes wide to the left. Chris Gamble, Bam Childers wide right. Lydell Ross in the backfield with Craig Krenzel, who works out of a shotgun. Gamble motions to a slot on the left. Snap to Krenzel. Back of the 42 to pass. Krenzel in trouble. Steps up, looks, throws left side. Got Hartsock at Purdue's 40. He dives and is taken down at the 37 of the Boilermakers. About a yard shy of the first down as the stop was made by cornerback Antoine Rogers. Well, guys, obviously here in the fourth and one, you got to go for it here. 204 left in the game. Fourth and one at Purdue's 37. Ohio State trailing 6 3. And they get it set up right away. Gamble will come wide right. Jenkins wide left. Looks like that's Brandon Joe and Lydell Ross in the offset eye. Fourth and one. Krenzel under center. Purdue blitzing. Krenzel back to throw. In trouble. Throws it long down the left sideline for Michael Jenkins. Yeah! Got it. Six points, Michael Jenkins. As Krenzel hit him on the fly down the left side of the field. And somehow Ohio State found a little magic that has eluded them all day. What a call on fourth and one. A lot of people think you keep it on the ground, you take the sure thing. Krenzel goes for the one in a million shot, takes it to Jenkins down the sideline. Number 12 hauls it in. 37-yard touchdown pass. Craig Krenzel to Michael Jenkins and Ohio State up 9-6. And Mike Nugent will be on to attempt an extra point. And it looks like there's some confusion in the point after team has to take a timeout. A minute 36 left in the game. We've been in this neighborhood before in this building. Kyle Andrews, the long snapper over the ball. Andy Groom will put it down at the 10. Kick by Mike Nugent is up. He's got it. 136 to play. Fourth quarter. Ohio State 10, Purdue 6. Ohio State football continues after this. 
So Kyle Orton, who started the game and threw two interceptions, has been quarterbacking this drive. Second and 10, Purdue, at their own 33. Brandon Jones in the backfield. Two wide, each direction for Purdue. 10-6, Ohio State leading. Snap to Orton. He's at the 25, looking down the middle, throws. He's got Stubblefield out of one tackle, and he moves to the 39-yard line, where Taylor Stubblefield is stopped by defensive end Darian Scott. Yeah, and that keeps the clock moving. They're short of the first down. We're at a minute to play. Fourth quarter. Third and five. Yep, Purdue at their own 39. Orton gets him set out of the shotgun. Twin receivers right and left. Orton back at his own 31. Looking, looking, looking still. Rolling right side. He's got all day. Pranks from the 31. Fires down the middle of the field for Stubblefield. Chris Gamble intercepts it at the 14-yard line of Ohio State. Chris Gamble with his fourth interception. And it comes at a gigantic time as he picked it off in front of Stubblefield. And Ohio State is going to get off the hook. Buckeye fans, say an extra prayer tonight. We deserved it, boy. Wow. Sometimes it's game. better to be lucky than good. What a game. Chris Gamble steps up, makes a play when we need it. Michael Jenkins steps up, makes a play when we need it. Buckeyes now just got to take a knee. 45 seconds left in a game in which third-ranked Ohio State leads Purdue 10-6. to Gamble wide right, and Krenzel's going to take the snap and just slide forward. He comes down at the 14-yard line. Craig Krenzel, the junior quarterback, Stuart Schweigert, brings him down along with Landon Johnson. Clock at 39 seconds. Yeah, one of our best runs here in the second half. <laughs> you know what? You're right. You know, we, we, we haven't run the ball very well in the second half at all. Purdue's going to burn a timeout. Well, Ohio State, assuming that they can get this one in the win column today, it will put them at 11-0 for the first time since 1995, the fourth time that's happened. It also, number one, most importantly, keeps them tied with Iowa for the Big Ten lead. The Hawkeyes were just dismembering Northwestern. That ended up being 52-16. to 62-16. Piling it on. Oh, my goodness. Is that a final there? I think they got enough no, points. No, it's not now. a final. I think they, they can, got enough points. I think they're trying to make a statement. They ain't going to move ahead of us. Ohio State second and six at their own 15. Split backfield. Brandon Joe, Lydell Ross. 10-6. Ohio State leading. Krenzel again just carries. First down. He squirts ahead for a first down. He looks like at the 21-yard line. That stops the clock. <laughs> it sure does. You know, I made that comment in the third quarter that if I'm an offensive player and you go on the sidelines, I couldn't look at those defensive players in the eyes because those guys are playing their guts out and offensively just not getting anything done. Well... It all works together, and this might be our shot, Paul. I'll tell you what. And, and also, <laughs> You win I'm, games like this, uh -huh. chances are you do some good things at the end of the year. Now at first and 10 for the 21, Ohio State's own sideline. They go to the genuflect offense as Krenzel will take a snap. 30 seconds on the clock. We've got some people having to be separated. Yeah, and they're not going to start this play clock. This game's over. It's in the books. And you know what? 40 years from now, won't matter. Nope. What an exciting football game. 10-6, Ohio State comes from behind. They endure to persevere, and they beat Purdue as the Buckeyes, for the fourth time in school history, go to 11-0. They are 6-0 in the Big Ten Conference. Purdue 4-6, 2-4 in the league. Purdue certainly played the most dangerous game that Ohio State maybe has faced all season.